Hartol Arena, Helsinki. This is Lucas Biza, one of the few NHL we are commenting today in Switzerland, Kazakhstan. Preliminary round, Group H, like Helsinki, Game 7. The Swiss finally to try to make it out all the quarterfinals since making it long far back in the main event in the late 19s and they're all tired in the country they're all tired of reaching eighth ninth places and thinking what could have been what could have done kazakhstan they wanted to stay up they don't want to get down again it's a struggling team yes but it has some secret we will reveal just after the anthem they won the promotion uh, through the division 1A group this year and it's been very hard they don't want to lose it the anthems This is Coach Simpson. I like the attitude, by the way, of the people dressing very funny clothes and singing very seriously their anthem. Again, this coach who take helm three years ago after a long reign by Justin Kruger, he really completely changed the criteria of selection. Let's have a look to a lineup that says that probably Switzerland should have it easy. But there is a but about Kazakhstan we'll discuss in a few seconds. Second line on the defense, two NHLs, Max Tried, Lucas Biza, together with Nino Niederreiter, and uh, curiously enough, with Andreas Sambul and Roman Vick, two former O'Neill NHLs who uh, recently, no, no, this is a mistake, I'm sorry, this is the, the Swiss coach. So my colleague in uh, Helsinki just uh, put the wrong tag. This is the Northern America. Sean Simpson on the other side let's have a look to the bunch of names probably most of uh, us we're not very familiar with but watch out because we have 14 players from Barry's Astana a very expert coach in the Andre Shyanov he is really Andre Shyanov and five players from Torpedo what does it mean it means that at the beginning of the tournament if you think that uh, it, the Swiss team is just composed by is composed by players coming from nearly all the team except Ambri Piotta, Davos and one more in Switzerland and a couple of NHL. What does it mean that Kazakhstan players may be shorter of talent towards their opponents but they may know each other better than the more talented Swiss team? Could it be a factor? Yes, but we also have to remember that if the majority of players come from Barry Sestana, they're not major contributors to the KHL team. 
which is mostly composed of foreigners like if you follow the interesting and unusual case uh, of Kevin Dalman, the North American who hopes to get the passport to get naturalized and compete for Kazakhstan in the next Olympic. So this is game seven for us, but for the two teams, it is game one. So, so having the majority of players knowing each other very well could probably level down a little bit the quality of the Swiss player, which is undoubtedly bigger. So we got Damien Brunner chasing the pack, one of the most promising players, 26 years, but I think, uh, not just me, many think destined after his great season with Zug, destined to Northern America. Now a pack lost a bit lightly in the neutral zone by Damien Brunner, the center of the Central Swiss team, Zug, who did dominate the regular season to leave a space afterwards to Zurich and Bern, who gave us the chance to see a very amusing, interesting and uh, electrifying series, which saw Zurich coming on the top after closing the regular season at eighth place. Again, it's the Swiss attacking by going to the corner. Matthias Bieber, then it's Solestein chasing the pack. On the other side, Dudarev. This is the first shot for the Swiss goaltender. Transitions up very quick. There's not a big grid by both the teams in the neutral zone. So skating back. Benjamin Plus. This is a Swiss fourth line uh, mixed up with the second one. Along the boards. To the corner. Good pressure by the Kazakhs. And uh, the Swiss goaltender thinks that uh, he's better put the weight on. Sean Simpson made no secret that. He's choosing Reto Berra ahead of Tobias Stefan, while on the other side, the choice of the day is in favor of the youngest of the two players, while Yeremeyev is, Vitor Yeremeyev, 36 years old. He played very well to, uh, with Barry Sastana in KHL. Probably is the only remarkable name of Barry Sastana playing this name. I mean, they got a bunch of very promising players, but again, it's Yeremev and a few foreigners composing the first two lines so close to Beros Biza is covering well. The Anai Mighty Ducks. Italian born. This is a story that not many people know. He was born in Ozieri, Sardinia, to Italian parents, of course. He went to the suburbs of uh, Zug very young, so he speaks, still speaks good Italian, of course, and French and German and English. He have a very strong season with the Ducks. The Ducks also have Jonas Hiller, which is not here, but this is not a big issue. Goran Bazina pushing forward. The Swiss Croatian. The skipper of Geneva Servette not coming off a great season this year. Defensive work is not perfect. This permits a centering pass from the face of circle. Time for a shift, time to regroup for Switzerland as it often happens. The stronger teams picks from different franchises and clubs and has it a little bit harder to gel up. Good pressure, nice for checking and the result is an offensive turnover. Philip Fura chasing the pack and making 
making it travel along the boards, but we go. Again, we go for a face-off. Well, let's talk about Swiss attack. We have so many things to say about this. The traditional problem of Switzerland has been scoring goals, which is not a detail, but I had the luck I've had the luck to see I've been lucky enough to see the last two friendly games versus Canada they scored with a they scored two goals in power play which is very good for what is worth judging by a friendly game anyway looks like the scoring issues of the Swiss team have been worked out by Sean Simpson and Manuel Celio again along the board chasing the pack, the Swiss second line is putting it deep. Benji plus again. Let's see if the Kazakhs try to put it in the middle or they humbly go to the corner. This is a way to expose yourself to a counter attack. Defense is well done again with the. We haven't seen the acceleration of number 10, Andrea Sambu, so far. This is a highly North American into brackets. Swiss line taking a strong hit. Again, Lucas Pisa. No chance for a diagonal pass. Goran Bezina attacking this as an offside call. Not a very strong start by the Swiss teams. Andreas. Ambul, many people think that he should have been longer in North America. He's fresh of winning the cup with Lion Zurich, very quick, strong, sometimes nervous forward who manufactures scoring chances for other people. A very good counter attacker. One of the three players or Champions Zurich that really many pundits did write off at the beginning of the season and mostly after a not convincing regular season. This is Sean Simpson who knows the people very well on his left side, Manuel Celio. Probably the, uh, the only representative of uh, the Italian speaking part of Switzerland, as you know, the majority of Switzerland is German speaking. Then there's the French side, which is represented by three players today. One of, of those is the one in possession of the pack in this exact moment Goran Bezina, Spalato Born, defensive defender and the skipper of Geneva. So there's no. There are a few Italian surnames, but the only real Italian speaking is Manuele Celio. A former Ambri Piotta player, while well, this is Adrian Brunner. And that's the shot from Goran Bezina. The rebound comes out, but Brunner's not quick enough to get off. He was waiting in the corner. So Bezina's off for a change. Matthias Bieber touches the puck. Again, a deflection, but Evgeny Boom again. Throwing out away to get a bit of a rest and back. Ivo Ruteman probably will stay on the ice. The veteran forward and Severin Blindenbacher is in as well. Yakovenko to the face off which is not won by the Kazakhs. And again, Severin Blindenbacher. Alliance Zurich, there's no player, no players from Davos, which is a mystery. Davos got eliminated this year. The, the town famous for political reason, but also for, for hosting the oldest club tournament in, in European ice hockey, which is the Spengler Cup. 
And this year hasn't been a good year for Anno del Curto's men, but, but it's always a team which provides probably the best players, surely the most winning team in, in the last 10 years, and traditionally they have nearly or no player in. Konstantin Pusharyov going to the face-off. And again, not doing well in the restart of the game. The Kazakhs locating the option, waiting for the pack. Matthias Sega, assistant captain and captain of Zurich Lions. Winner of the Swiss Trophy this year. I give you, I give you an advice how to use the break in between the first and the second drittel afterwards. Go digit somewhere in some search engine, Matthias Sega bus. Why? Because he's been pictured after a long party, after winning the cup, he took the bus, he had a couple of drinks too much, too much, or either he had a couple of drinks at seven o'clock in the morning, he took the bus with the cup in his hands and went back together with the commuters, which is a great thing to tell how Zurich is done and to tell you about the culture of the people there. What does it mean? He's been left there, so you, see, you see people around him. He was there with the cup. They've been, the, all the cities been waiting for so long and no one, no one pushing or pressing him. What does it mean they don't like ice hockey? No way, it's just the Northern, Northern Switzerland culture. And this picture tells you more than stories I could tell you while Reto Berra puts the white, puts the glove for a catch. Reto Berra also two years ago was in uh, Davos alternating with Leonardo Genoni, which was not available this year. No issues with gold tenders traditionally from Switzerland. David Abishev, for example, is out of the national teams rather since two or three years. That gives you the idea. Same Gerber. Again, Bezina, Goran Bezina driving the pack up. Olishuk and Rimarev, number 88. Uh, Rimarev, uh, there is a slight touch. Savchenko chasing the puck. Now it's Duderev, Dmitry Duderev in possess. Turning around, leaving it quickly to Roman Savchenko. This puck goes along the border. This is a nice in call. And Damien Brunner, his speed is acceleration from the wing, how he's chasing the packet gave us spectators a spectacular some spectacular highlights throughout the years. Again, it's Goran Bezina. Kevin Romy, officially the only Lugano player, means Lugano and Bripiota are the southern teams of the Spanish Italian speaking partners, Biza, very preciously good cover defense, good back checking. Steps back, um, excuse me, Severin Blindenbacher runs back quickly. And this is work for Reto Berra again. Probably the Kazakhs hoped for a penalty call. I think it was one of those 50-50 cases as coaches and statistics addicted call it. Again, Severin Blindenbacher working very well along the board, but much better than him does uh, Polishuk coming off the boards with a puck. The puck sticks in the neutral zone, then it's all this time. All this time surrounded by white shirts, maintains the pack some way. Now it is lost. So Sergei Yavokenko, Yakubenko, I'm sorry. This is a first shot and the first score. Just right after the turnover. 
the first shot after the pack has been turned over and nothing to do for Vitali Kolesnik was his screen let's have a look it's very important yes he was screened his vision was closed down by his own defender who tried to protect the shooting lane but he really made it difficult for his goaltender this is a cruel sport sometimes you put your body on the line you're there available to take a pack and stop it with your body but what you do is just screen your own goaltender when you're far from the from the net it's very good to put your body there also your stick if you're not close to the goaltender what why uh, if you are very close to the to your net you bet oh this is no 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 this was regular i thought the body check was a bit above the shoulders the ref was closer than i am so again when you're close to your net you put your stick there with a very good intent to stop the pack you could really play against your goaltender causing a deflection and this is the first penalty yes i wasn't yes yes i didn't hear the 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 whistle so i thought i was wrong but It was above the head. So one minute and 57 seconds plus the one time of this uh, a scramble in front of the door. Nino Nida, right at the New York Islander sensation player, which is not showing the best of his form and understandably so recently. just came back from his first first real season as a regular in NHL again need a right to chase in the puck so in the friendly game sure Andreas Hambul and Roman Wick played probably on a higher note than he could from the blue line very good cycling shift and uh, from the left this is the this is the skipper of Nino Niederreiter and the New York Islanders left alone just a little bit to the left. Mark Streit, the captain, finally available after the dismissal of the New York team, receiving from Benny Plus good, good pack circulation. Uh, too much to move around for the goaltender. Very good last pass from, I think it was Roman Vick. And this is the NHL line, so we call it. Initially composed by Max Tri, Captain Max Tri, Lucas Pease, Andreas Ambul, Roman Vick, and Nino Niederreiter playing very well, using the space behind the net very well. Goran Bazina. And it's 2 0. You leave these players a little bit of the room and you find the puck in the back of the net twice Bruna again it's Bruna trying to combine with Seymour Moza probably the most improved player of uh, the last two or three weeks surely the most visible forward in the last uh, in the last friendly games versus canada probably due to a series of factors why did canada decide to have his only friendly games in europe versus switzerland what sean simpson said they really keep us 
in very good esteem if they choose. We are honored to do that, but watch out. The defense is uh, very careful, and now it's time to counter-attack. Probably being Sean Simpson and part of his staff, and also Diego Scandella and uh, other coaches around Switzerland from North America connection have worked. But also one of the things is that in Switzerland you easily find facilities, you find very good friendly games and the places where you can train and do and relax with not much pressure. And the pictures of uh, Matthias Sega with the cup in the bus is really a book which tells us how quiet you could be in a ice hockey med country. You could be really in peace and left alone when you need to concentrate. And again, we see the quality of the pass is very soft and sharp right on the blade. No adjustment needed. No adjustment needed. An adjustment means that you give the defender this, this little extra time to put himself in the shooting lane or in the passing lane. While if you pass so sharply, the only thing we can say about the Kazakh's defense is this pass coming through the slot. Probably could have been, could it have been stopped? Who knows? Who knows? Probably a stick down quickly, but it's easier to say than to do. Vitali Novopashin. Captain Dmitry Upa waiting for the puck. Now getting that, and this is another danger. A loose pack and Benjamin Plus goes straight to the net. And Rick Rubin was waiting for a rebound who didn't come. The two combined very well. Have a look. Not very effective block shot. The play, well, the Kazakh play, I think, I think it was Vladimir, uh, Vladimir Krasnos Lobotsev trying to get down but not in time and not in the proper position and again Nino Nidoraita Nino Nidoraita putting in front for Andreas Sambu Roman Stachenko Nidoraita Roman Vick Ambu a drop pass a lovely one and Mark Stripe vultering around looking for the second score for the second personal score underneath the legs Roman Vick what a classy player. Back to the blue. Looks like a power play, but the teams are full strength. And this is the full strength and the quality. Uh, maybe the Swiss are, are they overhandling a little bit? Maybe, maybe, yes. But it's six minutes to go to the end of the first drittle. So why not try something like this? quality of passes and stick work on the Swiss team is completely visible for the last some time is this is a screener a real big screener someone says that probably probably Gardner could have been the man to do this and physical defense probably is not the best thing for the Swiss players traditionally anyway this is an offensive face-off gained after a good shot looking for the puck Konstantin Pushkaryov yes the Swiss team is a little bit Overhandling seven blinden backer making good pressure. A one time of on Dmitry Dudarev. Dimitri Opa not getting the puck. It's a very dangerous player. Very good forward. Ivo Rutiman has something to say to his opponent, but it's promptly separated by the ref. Kazakhs 
hoped until the very last minute to have in the NHL uh, Nick Antropov, but again, no way to have Nick Antropov. He hasn't played in a World Championship since he was 18. And it was, uh, it was the Olympic Games in Turin 2006. Pack is in the neutral zone. Swiss team looking for the fine pass and now for the score, which doesn't come. Benjamin Plus. Benjamin Plus giving it back, and this is a penalty. And Lucas Biza gets back with a sure advantage out of this. And again, Dennis Shemelin gives us the chance to see if the long-time issues of the Swiss power play. Yeah, you didn't. You don't have to do this. This is not pushing or showering. It's pulling back from behind. No need to do this. Protecting the goaltender is one thing that you have to do. But Danny Rubin did nothing. Was doing nothing dangerous. So, 100% efficiency in the power play so far in for the Swiss team. And Andres Ambul is a very good player in power play. So this year, Switzerland has uh, a very strong defense. They start supplying NHL of forwards slowly. slowly. Oh, you know, they, it, it's a funny thing in Switzerland sometimes. They've been producing goaltenders for years and years. Then, then it came the age of the defenders. Now seems like also on the forwards department, there's something from Swiss to the big North American tournament. Again, a cycling, a fake shot. And Nino need a writer taking the screening duties again. But Severin Blindenbacher looking not happy with that. Number seven to number five. Means Max tried to Severin Blindenbacher. This is the second special team unit chosen by Sean Simpson. Good defense. Goran Bazina gets back. Bruna. Bruna again. Gives some takes. Locates the options. Behind the net, Kevin Rumi. Bruna to the Lugano player, moving to Geneva Servet right this year. Oh, shall we say moving back to Geneva Servet again? Bruna, possession is maintained and the puck is blocked. This is a very good catch from the shot of Felicien Dubois, the Cloten defender, former Ambri Piotta. So some way the Kazakhs found a way to survive. But this is an offensive face-off, which the Swiss team loses. Now, as always, when you, when you lose the puck, you have to chase it. For at least 20 seconds. There's nine seconds left on the penalty time. Teams are full strength. The second power play didn't work as well as the first one. For the Swiss team, Sean Simpson have been working so far on the power play. Well, we have to say that power play is one of the harder things. to coach 
and train and practice. Why that? Because in penalty killing in other situations, you can rely on, on speed and other personal character. What power play is a very complicated thing to put on very good screening to no avail. Benjamin Plus was Benjamin Plus did what's been lacking to Switzerland so many years screening, screening, blanking up the vision to the opponents. And this is a penalty because Benjamin Plus interfered. And uh, I know what my Swiss friend would say right now. We cannot screen properly. That's why when we do it, we get penalized. He was interfering with the goaltender. You're not allowed to do this. So this is the first power play to the Kazakhs. Litvinenko, Fade, Yev, Savchenko, Shemelin, and Upa, the first unit elected by Andrei Shayanov. 20 seconds at least have gone. So the Swiss have the chance to go to the shift. Four in a line. Have a look. What an interesting positional play. Evgeny Rimarev. Rimarev, watch out for Roman Savchenko on the blue line when you defend with a small, small box here. You don't protect yourself very much from slap shot from the blue line. No, now they change because Savchenko came close from the blue line to the net. The puck is not kept in, so everything is to be redone. Puck along the board, not, not the best thing you can do in power play normally. This might be a short-handed counter-attack. The pack is too long, a little bit out of reach. Two on one. And this is a very good penalty killing unit from the Swiss. You must be generous, to, uh, stay there, try to freeze the pack, slowing down in the corner. That's the best thing you can do. When you short handed, just put the puck on the corner on their end, keep it there as long as you can. You know that you may get a hit, yes, you know that, but uh, you have to be available to take to take the hit. Goran Bezina covering up properly, discipline on defensive face off is very important with teams of full strength, even more in short handed. This is a Short-handed attack by Damien Brunner. Talgat Zaylau. Teams are full strength. So, just for a few seconds. <laughs> and here we go with the third penalty. It is the clear indication of a grabbing. You saw the ref indicating that the player grabbed held closing closing the glove on the pack is the reason why again we are commenting a five on four which is very interesting if Kazakhs are to get back in the game this is their chance Diagonal pass. Savchenko looking for the puck. Good covering by Evgeny Fadeyev. If you're not familiar with the rule, you're allowed to touch the puck with your glove, not to close the fingers on the puck. Otherwise, it is a penalty call for closing the fingers on the puck or officially delay of game. So I think we saw a very entertaining first period of time, quality, nice passes from the Swiss that probably got an indication from the NHL captain, Max Streit, who said, let's not take it for granted. Right now, let's not try to be too stylish, too cute, it's just 
one and then two goals forwards. Will they keep playing like that? Do Kazakhstan have a game break, game breaker to get back? We will see it when we get back in a few minutes.
Will it be easy for these guys that are waiting to get back in the ice? Well, it's up. It's uh, um, if it's a matter of talent, sure not. It's not going to be any hard. But again, we have to expect a reaction from Kazakhstan. They know that they want to stay up, not get back again to the first division group. So Switzerland, directed for the third year by Sean Simpson, who replaced Ralph Kruger in 2010, must be convincing, not only winning now. They want to go to the quarterfinals and they want to show that uh, what that their moment the swiss moment is not is not one off they are doing new things for the culture for the sport culture they supplying any challenge as we said uh, finally they had uh, damien brunner up in the group of the top scorers and the traditional they have not you only always have input players lovely way to have fun watch a great game and dress in a funny way i love this attitude i don't know this gentleman but i'd like to to share a drink with him this is the proper attitude and normally ice hockey is watched with a very good attitude in uh, switzerland even though even though recently there was something very hard to fix especially in southern switzerland in the famous lugano versus ambri piotta derby so switzerland has sent a lot of goaltenders to nhl now is the defenders moment but uh, having needed right a number 22 of the second line who is taking the ice right now could be a new thing a really a real turn of uh, events but it's time to talk a little bit more about uh, max trait uh, who went to nhl for the first time here we go as a not drafted player and he made he himself noted but now finally he's the captain of the new new york islanders so a new thing need a writer forward a new thing the cap a captain of a big team and then let's not forget sven bershi who, who did so well in the three games he played in the only three games he couldn't play more for a matter of contract and this is the veteran Ivo ruteman and we're talking about a bunch of players who have been close close to be good in hl like lucas biza is now but someone says that swiss players suffered the minor divisions vhl ohl and ahl more than nhl itself because life if it was too tough of course if you talk if you say that to the players they say that no it is not like this but it's a long matter of debate of ethic and culture as sport we will enter that very soon let's see which is the line that we start short-handed very good start you win the pack you push it there so 20 seconds are of penalty killing are gone clean ice let's not forget that in the second drittle the benches are away from your own end so changing on the fly may be a little bit risky more than in first and third drittle Zailawov Novo Pashin again Novo Pashin Spiridonov in front of the net there was waiting and vultering again Krasnos Lobotsev. Nice shot blocked in front of the net. It was Max Streit protecting his goaltender. Now I'm surprised, I would be surprised if in the second unit Andrea Sambul doesn't get in to make pressure. He's a very good four checker very good here we go this is andrea sambul waiting for the pack to go to the other side to chase it and try to delay the exit now the teams are full strength but the pack is still in the region of reto berra from the high slot two versus one we had we did feel it in the air it was not any easy not any easy left alone 
left along in the high slot. The Paris Astana forward, Roman Savchenko. Powerful slap shot from the 24 years old. Have a look. He's been left completely alone in the high slot. You never have to forget the last man entering the attack zone. That's an old cliche that all the good coaches tell, tell the kids all the time. How do we explain that? Probably Switzerland was a little bit relaxed and Sean Simpson will not be any happy of this. They neglected the fifth man. Maybe a relaxing after killing the penalty it's a classic so many times in these days we commented how many times you score in the 10 20 25 seconds after the end of the penalty anyway anyway two switzerland one kazakhs and an offensive face-off adrian brunner down on the ice damien brunner i'm sorry adrian is his brother, former Ambri Piotta brother. Also a very good player who moved to Geneva, from Ambri Piotta to Geneva a couple of weeks ago. So Brunner shooting, probably he got hit or tangled after shooting. Loose. So the Italian speak inside the Switzerland Ticino is not represented by any player. Officially, yes, you find one, which is Kevin Romy. But after seven years and after playing his best season in Lugano, curiously, he goes back to Ginevra, cross-checking another penalty. Whoa, you know, short of emotions in games like that. Absolutely. Absolutely not. Now, work for the special teams again. Andrei Spiridonov is going to sit for a while. He's also an Astana player, not a Barry Astana player, but a hockey club HK Astana. So, Captain Upa is waved off the face off area and he gets replaced by Targa Zayalau. Zaylaov, I'm sorry. Very hard to survive. Two minutes in the second drittle. Goran Bezina trying to shoot it in. Wow, oh, what a save. What a save. I think it was Roman Savchenko in a kind of goaltending duties, just behind, protecting, covering up behind his goaltender. Brunner again, and one more penalty, five on three. Five on three. Again, Damien Brunner. He's not the kind of guy who likes to, to spend extra time down on the ice, and he's been put down the ice, I think it was less than 60 seconds ago. Have a look, Kevin Romy puts it there, but he can't close it in. Can't close it in. Kevin Romy, a uh, Romandian, or either better say, uh, a player from the French speaking side, from, we will say, French Swiss. Where is the face off now? This is an interesting thing. Again, let's always take a note where the face-off is. Three on five on the second dribble with the bench far and a defensive face-off and you don't win the face-off. So this is a very, very complicated stint for the Kazakhs. Nice, very good ethic and, bl and block by Dmitry Dudarev right in the shooting line. Against Max Streit, playmaking defender and power play master. 
Need a right uh, chasing the pack. What a special team. Oh, yes. No, horizontal passes. When, when you're the last man with the pack, you don't have to try normally, normally. You don't have to try to pass it sideways. Because if you lose the one-on-one, -on -one, or if, it, like in this case, your pass gets intercepted, you are done. And this is... Even after poor handling, the power play unit was very good. So it makes three on one. Mark Strait. Captain Strait really came back from NHL with a positive, tremendous attitude to come help his team. Good pack circulation. And there was the visual was blanked to Vitali Koleshnik that I don't blame too much for that. So Kevin Romy to the face off. This is supposed to be a mix between the first and the third line. I know Sean Simpson enjoys to have Number 96, Damian Brunner, working with Simon Moser and Kevin Romy. And uh, looks like a bit of uh, an unfriendly gathering, but nothing more. I don't think there's going to be any big issues, big issue or major penalty. Let's see what happens. Again, Kevin Rumi. Well positioned there. So, Kazakhs protecting the goaltender and, uh, and uh, Swiss protecting again, Hart again, three times in a row. Damien Brunner. This time looks like it's a bit more serious than it was. Ambul gives and wants to receive in the slot. No way. At the moment, chasing along the board. Mark Strait. Mark Strait checking. Roman Wick fetching. Good combination. The sideway pass is deflected again. I wouldn't trust too much these horizontal passes on the blue line. Very good attitude by the Kazakhs. They looked for the first score. When the music of the game was taken another way. If they keep the discipline they can stay in the game longer than we expect. Novo Pashin, Novo Pashin along the boards, then Dennis Holstein. Talgat Zailawov. Very hard to take this pack off the board. Holstein, Holstein, he's in the back, he can't shoot, so he has to spin around. Finds no space to put it like Goran Bezina does now. Very good blocking, very good blocking because it was there was again Kevin Romy doing what he did so well for Lugano Hockey Club this year. Also making supporters angry. Why do you, if you play well you make supporters angry, my friends? Because this player came to the south, went to the south. Switzerland played his best season when it was already already known that he was going back to his native region so he played his best season when it was time to move funny things aren't they so this is Max Strides Biza Ambul first and second line sitting so we may find Blinderbacher and Furer on the defense Plus Robin and Traxler. Morris Traxler didn't have 
any eyes yet it seems to me i'm not sure but maybe he's a very strong defensive center good in the face off covering up well why is that so important to have a very good defensive center in your team to the ones not familiar with the game for different reasons because you want him to work as a third defender to cover up possibly three in a line on the blue line to give options when the opponents put the puck in your corner and you cannot use the boards because wingers shut down this possibility so you want your defensive center to give the so-called third option and then if you put him on the checker line Traxler is a very effective if not stylish player but I like this hard work is down with the knee very quickly very well not to permit the pack to reach the slot it was Philip for it. this is what the fourth line has to do the, again the, the well the, the net is dislodged so we have a couple of seconds to talk about Patrick von Gunten who stopped The pack again. I hope to have the replay of the other shot. Very good pictures, but on the other side we had we had the player, a tall player, waiting for the opponent to shoot and going down on his on his knee to deny the shooting lane in one second. You have to be very quick to do this, but besides that, you have to be very very brave because the puck hurts when it is slapped towards your body protection nowadays gives you give you an extra an extra chance but a puck is heavy Kevin with me horizontally again chasing the puck maintaining and a cl very classy Passed by Simon Moser. This young guy is probably the big new sensation of Swiss ice hockey. Watch out for this number two. He skates a lot. He maintains the puck, not this time. Now he probably will drive to the net, but the puck is lost and uh, put in the corner to stop the play. Now, let's see what Andrei Shayanov will decide to face a Swiss team that this year looks to be much better than probably last year. Anyway, good commitment, good attitude by the Kazakhs. Denis Shemelin covering up the pack. Need a writer, need a writer, and um, Bull doesn't find. Was the puck maybe out of the blue line? No, lovely piece of blocking by number 81, Konstantin Pushkaryov. And Bull. Well stopped and it was not regular for by Yevgeny Fadeyev. Yevgeny Fadeyev getting a minor penalty. So the Baris Astana defender puts his team in a bit of a trouble knee on knee it's the worst kind of contact i don't think there was any bad intent in this but knee is one of the things I, I think that uh, boarding from behind and knee on knee are the most contributors 
two injuries. Goran Bezina coming off the boards. A very short drop pass. Felicien Dubois waiting. There's no space anymore. For Dubois. Watch out for number 13. He moves uh, towards the net, but doesn't find any puck. Again, the white penalty killing unit. Finally, they can go and desert man very close to the puck because, as we say, the puck and the second drift are on your attacking zone. So very smartly, Roman Starvchenko gets off the bench and goes straight to the puck. Good clearance, who gives a bit of breath. 49 seconds to go. Nice penalty killing by the Kazakhs. Roman Wick, very well turning around, spinning around. Blindenbacher gives it away. Straight, straight. Good work by the defense. No shooting lane allowed. Watch out for Nino Niederreiter in front of the net. The shot is off the target. Stride waiting for the puck. Again, it goes on the other side of the building. Reto Bero doesn't want to lose any time, so he, he passes to the center to his playmaker. Marcus Stride, Max Stride. Again, having the puck circulating along the boards. Ruteman loses the puck that he could have been saving and again these teams do not seem to want to play five versus five so Holstein looks like he's been hit in the face of something this is Andrea Ambul and then we see the shot of the target by the new New York Island captain. No, you don't need that in the second drittle. Too complicated to resist, too complicated to go to the to the bench. In penalty killing, you don't change the lines, you change one man at a time. You're lucky if you can. Felicien Dubois from behind the net. Accelerate on the mid lane. Finds Nino Niederreiter. The shot is off the target. Goran Bezina. Oper in between. Zailawov doesn't permit a sh ah, shooting lane, but Goran Bezina finds the way. Dubois. Dubois, he has to get a read of Zailawov. Zailawov covering up close to the, to the net. The puck is blocked again. And uh, again, a very good penalty killing by Alexei Lid Lidvinenko. But Damien Brunner goes to the bench again. He sometimes I call it, I call him Adrian because of his brother. But pardon me, sometimes have fun, my friends. Have fun. I know you hope for a little bit more, but also Kazakhs supporters are very nice i saw a bunch of them a few minutes before the game they so nice so polite i like i like them max stride fakes a slap shot changes the shooting lane very good clearance in backhand it is very hard to flick up the pack for an aerial which goes which takes away the the danger the packs quickly returns to the Kazakhs and Max tried well covered if you open up you stop the possibility of shooting from the blue lane but as soon as you do that you find someone in front of the of the net but Oh, stretch pass, lovely stretch pass and lovely score. Max Stride 
I was about to say they too easily permitted the clearance, but suddenly Max tried a very long and sharp and with stretch pass, and then the lethal combination. And Andreas Ambul, as a biggest manufacturer of this score by Ivo Rutemann. Have a look. He locates the option, the best one is the easiest one. One, two, one, two steps, and then a backhand soft assist by Andreas Ambul to Ivo Rutemann. Nice game, very nice game. The two played each other in the electric final of NLA, but they combined so well for the national team. Now Volpashin. Zailao tries a center pass who doesn't come. And again, this time, no problem for the white goaltender. What should the Kazakhs do? They need awareness in the neutral zone. Transition look a little bit too easy in the neutral zone. We, you've seen that probably the Reds find the way to cross the building a bit too easily and do not and let's not leave defensive gaps probably probably a bit more concentration in the on the blue line could really help this is Matthias Bieber one of the young guys that uh, Sean Simpson trusts so much he really embodies the new Swiss team spirit national team that have to thank Mr. Kruger for so many years for taking this team into the first eight. Now the change has been in favor of a different system. Uh, Sean Simpson calls three different teams. He, he, he evaluates a huge number, up to 60 sometimes, before putting out the name for Olympics or or tournaments or World Cup. So Mori Trasler, the defensive uh, center we discussed about a few minutes ago, is off for 120 seconds. And there we see the zero goals in the power play out of two power play opportunities for the Kazakhs. Bazina slaps the danger away. The puck is chasing. Is chased. Sorry. By Roman Savchenko. He doesn't have many options. From behind the net. Alexei Troshinsky. Alexei Troshinsky gives it away to feed the Polishuk. Polishuk waiting for the puck, way covered, and he recovers the puck. He creates a very nice turnover. Max tried to has to cover in front of the net. A slap shot from far away. Reto better well position. And this is an offensive face off. We just talked about Kazakh supporters, how nice they are. They offer drinks to Swiss supporters, and uh, I will never get tired to underline this attitude. 
I like so much. This is the real way to go and watch ice hockey in other sports outside. 40 seconds penalties left to 12 3. Shots on goal in the second drittle. And now Andrei Shayanov has to urge his team to produce something. How can they really? I don't know. Probably slapping and putting it towards the net. There was a rebound, but the rebound went a bit too far to get used. But Mitri Dudarev, he was very well positioned there. Krasnos Lobotsev, longest name of the tournament. Pack is lost, but Andreas Ambul. A good pass to no avail because it is not blocked. Matthias Sega. Matthias Sega and the pack is on the wing, but no other chance to put it in front of the net because there was no one waiting for that. So a bit of a offensive lack of concentration by the Swiss team. Need a writer. Need a writer, Kevin or me. Again, need a writer or me chasing the pack. The two combining, Romy goes behind. The net. Patrick von Gunten. Patrick von Gunten, that's a wraparound by Roman Vick. Roman Vick wraps around, but is quickly shut down. Let's see what Mark Streit has done so far. Lovely score, lovely passes, but this long stretch pass from behind. Well, he contributes in so many ways to the game. Is he an offensive defenseman? Yes, he is. Is he defensive when it is needed? Because we saw that in NHL this year. He played different games according to the coach's need, and there's nothing more a coach could hope to have from a player and from a captain. Time to have a to have a check. And the review, I don't think it's a it's a difficult choice. Sometimes we hear the conversation between the referees and the uh, television match official, but not this time. Normally it is quite interesting. So Matthias Sega sitting down beside the two captains, the one that won the cup this year with Zurich Lions and the one that got eliminated, the first NHL captain that Switzerland supplied. Let's go for the official communication. I don't think we have big surprises about that. Sean Simpson not very concerned about about that. Was the puck in and not? No, no. I said no as a first impression because the pack has to be entirely into over over the line so we only have to confirm what we suspected and there's no change on no change on the scoring board and again an offensive face off for the team is red that are showing that the biggest issue they had the capacity to score and the power play probably has been solved
too easy. That's too easy, even for Felicien Dubois. This is disappointing for a team that has put so much commitment to level the clear difference in terms of uh, skills and level. Shall we call it a lapse of concentration? Yes, sure the goaltender has to cover the first post, but Felicien Dubois didn't have to do much then he is, he is sharp. Sense of scoring. Sager along the board, 5-1. It is Switzerland, 5, Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan, 1. Yeah, very good by Felicien Dubois to locate the option and to understand that the best option <laughs> was to try to score himself. So he went behind the line and find a way with a backhand to put it there, but that was too easy. A defenseman should have been taken care of a defender with very good qualities. Someone says that he should be a bit more physical than he is. The show is not sure. Uh, of manual dexterity and we had a taste there and unfortunately for Kazakhstan they had a test too so behind the net probably looking for an early score to try to go to the second stop just three goals short I know it sounds funny but that's probably what the coaches are thinking in this exact moment so need a writer need a writer Having the pack circulating along the board. Now he has to chase that. An horizontal pass. A very good. Enter into the attack zone by the Kazakhs. Goran Bezina, a risky pass to Nino Niederreiter. Looks like a special team. In, in a sense, it is, we can say, it is Bezina again. El Nino. This is an aerial clearance. Max tried. Captain tried to then to address and bull. Finds himself not in the position to try to score. So it was Damien Brunner. No, Nino Niederreiter. This is Nino Niederreiter. This is again Andrea Sambu. Powerful shot by Lucas Bisa. Wearing the same number he uses with that. And I might duck. And I duck. I'm sorry. That was the old name. Again, Lucas Bisa. The, the Swiss, Italian, North American. The pack is off the area and the time is over. 5 1. What do we expect for the third drill? I think maybe, maybe if it carries on like that, we could hope to see Kazakhstan reacting, having the coach urging his player to produce something and Switzerland showing a little bit more of the class. Maybe, maybe the cute kind of ice hockey they tried to play in the first drittle. It was not to be played with one or two goals over vantage, but could be, could be something to write home about if they carry home, they carry on playing like that in the third drittle. Back in a few minutes.
Welcome back with the pitches coming from the heart of our in Helsinki preliminary round group H game seven drittle number three did we expect a little bit more by this team I think so I really think so that now we see on goal tending duties for this third drittle there is as we could easily imagine Vitali Kolesnik so I think that Barry Sestana now could really set their head towards the most important game for them. I have to remember that, uh, remember you that uh, the last place team in each group, both Stockholm and Helsinki in the preliminary round, does get back relegated from the top division and the last year he was uh, uh, Kazakhstan was not playing versus Reto Berra or Nido Niederreiter or Damien Brunner Brunner's team but uh, he, they had to change really to step up for one year they've been relegated and they've been uh, playing versus Great Britain Lithuania Estonia with all the due respect I have for these nations I follow so dearly, but now facing Canada, USA, Finland, it's a totally different thing. So in the preliminary round, you get to the last place, you get relegated. So against France, they play the big chance in order to avoid a very uncomfortable situation that means find yourself with the must to grab points from the bigger hockey nations such as Canada or Finland, you don't want that. You don't want that, absolutely you don't. So the upside is that uh, France, Kazakhstan comes early in the tournament, which is absolutely not bad for one team which has 13 players playing together all year long in the club team, Baris Astan in the Russian KHL. But on the other side, if you lose versus France, and we see tomorrow how it goes, you have five games to try to get points from teams like Canada or Finland. Can you imagine that? It's very, very hard. That's probably one of the reasons why the coach decided not to field at all the 36-year-old former New York Rangers in 2000-2001 Goaltender Yermeyev probably is doing his best. They tried to do, and they worked pretty well in the first 20, 25 minutes, but the focus is already on France versus Kazakhstan. Half of Kazakhstan defensemen play together on uh, the KHL franchise, Baris Astana. So if you have to make a big surprise, you have to make it soon when you don't have troubles in communication and uh, gelling up and uh, other teams might have. But uh, what happened in the first drift is that they failed to supply packs to Roman Starchensko, which is the leading Kazakh scorer of the Baris Astana this season. One of the nine forwards of the team and also let's talk about the coach he was not the head coach now he is but he's back in the kind of double role of Baris Astana and uh, Kazakhstan which is sometimes spoken of maybe in generously as being Baris Astana with some enforcement but let's not forget that also Torpedo Ust Kamenogorsk supplies five players to this team so it is not exactly like that so struggling behind the net coming from far away and uh, with good strength Morris Trasler that's what a defensive center has to do struggle hard in attack maybe normally the center doesn't go often behind the opponent's net but in this case that was the right thing to do to recover a pack 
now for Sim Simpson. Uh, knowing Sean Simpson's attitude, he will not take this third drittle any lightly, that's for sure, but he can give space and ice uh, also to Benji Plus, uh, Damian Rubin, Morris Traxler, and I expect much eyes to Simon Musa, who is in the first line, but he needs but needs playing more with his new teammates. If he sees and you find it a bit easier to adapt to new system, find yourself in a totally different line. But if you're so young and so talented, I would add, you have to play as much as you can with your teammates. Mark Stripe. Kevin Romy, former Lugano player, finds the pack this lost, but he's very quick to change angle and recover that and put it on the net. Alexei Ivanov saves for the second time. Very good drop pass and Retobera responds very well, putting the body in between, conceding a rebound which is promptly cleared away. Goran Bazina along the board. Goran Bazina, Bruna. Bruna. The first Swiss to win the scoring race in the national league in nla in 30 years you have to get back 30 years not to find an import winning the scoring race in the swiss premiership it's gone nine goals more than the second one julian sprunger of the Fribourg Gotteron that kept all the nation hoping and guessing after knocking his head a few days ago. The best, curiously, for Lugano that played another bad season. The best import players being Jaroslav Berna. And let's have a look what the to be kind season. If Rutman is doing that, he, he, instead is uh, Felicien Dubois score. So back to memory lane when it was 1982 when Guido Lindemann won the scoring title. It was those days in Switzerland, there was a round robin competition. He played 37 or 38 games with 25 goals or 67 and 67 points. And let's not forget some years later, Vyacheslav Bikov, whose son is playing with Freiburg again. With his twin, but the father with his, with his twin, Andre Komutov, and Gates Orlando, which is struggling with a health issue those days. With our best wishes to the former Italian and Canadian player, with, which did so well also in Swiss. More recently, Oleg Petrov and uh, Randy Robitaille. Glen Metropolit, what we played for Montreal Canadiens, then Lugano Zug and Lugano again, Randy Robitaille, Steven Lebeau, Uri Kolnik, uh, also two defensemen. One is Ron Wilson, we know so well from the Spangler Cup and from North American hockey, and the Finnish Petri Numelin, which played 17 World Cups. And he's been rated one of the best skaters of NHL in his days, in his high days. A tremendous skater, an offensive forward, also a little bit criticized but for not being tough and physical enough. But what a player. Now it was time to have a Swiss player like Dan Brunner winning the scoring, scoring race and doing so well that probably will lead him to a phone call 
to North America, even though. He has passed the 20. Goran Bezina. Well checked by Dmitry Upa. From the blue line, again, Roman Savchenko. Savchenko, the defense, the defender, and Roman Starchenko, the forward we mentioned. They're also playing the same line. What are the coaches talking about? Probably their fans. They don't want to be relegated at all. This is a very important reason also for the kids here. And I can tell you by direct experience, when you're young and you go to tournaments like this, everything is so big, you remember that after 20, 25 years. comes from the from the 80s and pitches from the hard tool arena here we go with an offensive face off which is lost Now the face-off is on the other side of the building. Romanov has something to say to the defenders. So Reto Berra finds a bit of a... There's no show. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, goaltenders don't like it when you put down the blade to break. And you rise. And you rise. There's now in, inside the mask Patrick von Gunten. D to D. Matthias Bieber. And Matthias Seger. Zurich skipper. Puts it deep. Daniel Rubin, big bump, a clean hit by Benji Plus. Litvinenko puts it along the board in again. A weak attempt because the angle was closed very quickly. Konstantin Romanov couldn't do better than this. Alexey Vorontsov chasing the pack. The white ones have to restart from their own zone. Very good combination. It's a one on four in a certain way. The pack is still maintained by Andrea Sambu. Spisa. Straight, straight, straight. The wraps around, but doesn't. Get out from the net. He wants to maintain the pack. Good work by Alexei Ivanov. And Andrea Sambul is not happy of the stoppage. But Sean Simpson probably will try to to mix up like the lines. The pack has been. Replaced. This is a power play situation for the Kazakhs that does not make any happy Sean Simpson, but if
it gives us the chance to see if finally we could see something more by Roma Starcesco and uh, Evgeny Rimarev normally the two forwards that Cheyenne of uses in power play. Very good catch with the left glove. Morris Traxler, he doesn't win the puck. So good work at the beginning of the of the power play for the Kazakhs. First thing, first thing you have to do when you're in power play, you have to win the puck. But if you see it from the other side of the river, when you show ten, you want to win the puck to clear it. Why? No inside lane allowed. To number 21, Dmitry Dudarev. And both the teams have to keep calm. They both have very heavy commitments tomorrow at different with different aims. Nice try. Nice try help. And nice reading. So Starchenko. Sometimes you just need to ask, you know, we want to see something more from Starchenko. We've seen that. Barreto Berra has been very quick to put down the stick. The shot is off the target. 40. Two seconds of power play. The shot is blocked. Again, very good protection in front of the net, but it could work either way. It could be a screening with this commitment, the Kazakhs. Probably deserve a bit more than losing 5 1, but you've seen the discipline of the Swiss players. They haven't been tempted to try to score again. The pack has been. Taken to the corner, and the teams are at full strength. From behind the net, Evgeny Fadayev. Fadayev. And a bit of rest for the offensive first line for some Sean Simpson's team Brunet Brunet had someone said that uh, Brunet would be winning the scoring race a few years ago probably no one would have believed that Three years ago, he was playing uh, for for an affiliate team. For the floating flyers, the teams that contributes with two players to this national team, Felicien Dubois, which moved there from Ambri Piotta after helping so much in the defense department of the southern team and Roman Wick which has another story someone said that he surrendered to any hope of surviving to North America after after trying his best someone says that uh, he hasn't been tough enough to stay there and resist so when he got back he found his agent smiling because clothing flyers proposed proposed him a very good contract now he's steady, he, he made he made up his mind. Then we see what a shot high in the roof by Mark Streit. And what a stretch, a stretch pass. Felicien Dubois. 
taking all the turn around the goaltender. And not surprisingly, the cameras again go to Mark Streit. And I'm very curious if after a great season, Damien Brunner keeps going with a great tournament. And I'm also curious to see what happens afterwards. Because trading players during the season is normal business in NHL. Exchange market culture is very different in Europe and North America. Closing down on the park is the wisest thing to do. In this case, is it important to stay in the game for a team? Oh, what a lovely catch. A left hand glove catch. Yes, you, you cannot hope. In collision sports, you cannot get humiliated and get out lightly. You know, it's not the same thing to, to surrender. Of course, you think about tomorrow. Of course, coaches may think to give a little bit of a rest to some players that you surely need versus France tomorrow. And my speech is referring to Kazakhstan, of course. Give extra time to Spiridon or Voronsov and maybe save a little bit uh, Savchenko, Roman Savchenko and Roman Starchenko. Probably yes. But what you don't want is your players to give up because you have to build up a certain karma of your team. You have to get out with, cert with a certain pride, even from the matches you lose. Good defense. The rebound is cleared away very quickly. Good work by Alexei Troshinsky. Goran Bezina, Kevin Romy. Again, Romy chasing the pack and checking closely the Alexei Litvinenko. Brunner uses the board to pass the pack. Again, Brunner is very fit besides all the rest. This player is very, very fit. Well, Nino Niederreiter struggled a little bit this year in NHL. He finds himself, he found himself in a defensive line, which is not the best thing for, for his characteristics. So he played a kind of eight, nine minutes a game. Sure, after 2010, there was uh, much hype about this player. But the second year in NHL is very, very hard. Goran Bazina shoots and again and again. Alexei Ivanov blocks. Nino Niederreiter on Voroskov, which who loses the helmet. Let's not forget that Nino Niederreiter is just 19 years old. one of the three NHLers that uh, Sean Simpson can pitch this year. He also plays that uh, world at the Ice Hockey World Championship two years ago as a junior. Now the thing is different, the expectation is different. He's 19 now. As a 17, he has a, a 
a taste which has been without any shadow of doubt positive but it was just two years ago when El Nino needed right to have a great junior season with Portland Winterhawks in the Western Hockey League but more famously when he eliminated Russia in the World Junior quarterfinal in Canada in the land of my friend the co-commentator Mark Berwald in Saskatoon by scoring two goals for Switzerland that helped me help them to become the highest drafted uh, Swiss player ever fifth overall so the New York Islanders bought him to put him down to the junior team after nine games so it was 2011 his first NHL real season one goal in 55 games not much really Kevin Romy handled the puck properly Bruna Ambul Romy drops it back to Ambul again the slap shot from the blue line by Goran Bezina plus extra work with for a Kazakh team oh they don't have the strength to resist anymore I like their attitude but they losing the discipline for sure and when you're tired you hook when you're tired you kind of tackle you grab the player because you feel your body can't reach the target so Kevin Ruby has been hooked and that two minutes to Yevgeny Bumagin based on breaking the law from Judas Priest back to the 80s for the rock addicted watching this game which is a little bit stale now two minutes and 23 seconds to the end a couple of extra shifts for the captain for Max Stride captain both of the Swiss national team and the New York Islanders very good performance and performances if we include the couple of friendly games versus Canada by the Anaheim Ducks defenseman Lucas Beza. So the three NHL are on the same line, at least on the paper, at least on Sean Simpson plans. And the big five line is uh, completed by center Andre Ambul and winger Roman Wick. And again, it's a power play situation which takes you to the end of the third drittle. Of course, we can easily say that Kazakhstan will have it very hard to battle very hard to remain up with the big guys, but it was an expected thing. It was not the game to do the result on the other side we can say the Switzerland the day they will reach the quarterfinals they really can hope for unbelievable results but they specialized in losing composure versus small teams which did not happen today and uh, they a big killer or giant but sometimes they've lost how much they struggle last year with France which is tomorrow big challenge for Kazakhstan some of some of you will remember 
the extra time goal by Julien Vauclair. The only Lugano player, even though native of the French side of Switzerland, that Sean Simpson did call, but he, he could not come due to an injury. But looks like in the defense, things are getting very, very well. What, what the staff had to register is uh, the goal department and mostly the power play. Looks like really it is going that way so supporters have a reason to cheer up and i can tell you for sure that sponsors coaches the same swiss federation they absolutely fed up of eighth and ninth place finishes You, you cannot you cannot do the big match versus Canada and get it fitted by small teams with a good system seems like Switzerland this year has a team which is a bit more physical lines are very well balanced and what about Kazakhstan well we have to wait to see how Italy and uh, France go before telling anything about them so Sean Simpson has something to think about and now he has to keep an eye on national predators results and think about Roman Yosi someone thinks that with Rafael Diaz former Zug player and Yannick Weber the both are injured while Josie Nashville Predator Josie is still playing the defense department could be even better but again it's my humble opinion for what is worth that it is not there that switzerland may have an issue if they want to compete with a big one best player or show on one side captain's trite what about kazakhstan when novo pashin did his best also Savchenko yeah that was an easy one that was the easiest pick Dimitri Uper, that's okay, Captain Uper, a good pick, a good choice for the commitment. Of course, he didn't have the chance to show that he can really carry the offensive load. If he receives good packs, it was not the day. Tonight, my dear friends, Canada, USA, and I don't need to tell you anything more than this. Thanks a lot for being with us. Goodbye.